Hello, race fans. It's 2013. It's a new year. And what do I do to start off this new year? I bring back the NNSCRA Caterpillar Arca Series with, with uh, plenty of fresh new faces here. This is Daytona. This is my very first race of 2013. Now, now from season one, we ha we've had 30 rides. Now, this year, we have a 32. And the grand prize on the line, a reserve ride for the return of the NASCAR Mobile One Nationwide Series. We, uh, we've got, uh, we've only got six veterans in this field, and we have, and we have 26 rookies, so, so these veterans are gonna have to, uh, show all these young boys, um, um, what they got. Now, one of those, um, now one of these rookies here is, um, is, um, Alex Ferranti, who's actually won here at Daytona three times in the Sega Cup, so he may be one of the top rookies in this field today. We're gonna have to check see what he can do as we're about to have those famous words in motorsports. Gentlemen, start your engine! Nice and smooth, we'll be there at the end. The long race, we just got same contention, no mistakes. That's the big key, no mistakes today. We get up there, we get in the top ten, we ride, we ride, we ride. That's what we gotta do today. And whoa, and, and oh boy, something, uh oh, something happened to the one car. That's Tim Feigl. Now, Tim Feigl, he drove that one car um in season one. And, and I don't know what happened. He was going to uh, start on the pole, but I guess his car stalled. Oh, man, not a good start for Tim Feigl. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting lineup of this event. We saw uh that starting lineup um uh I don't know I don't know if Tim Fagler is gonna get his Paul back but if he does he needs to to hurry up and catch back up. But anyway, as we take a look through this field, Cody Lamas he's uh um he's taking the new uh pole position and right beside him is um is a uh, Ka Sanaski another aspiring rookie uh. Ka Coming up in the NSCRA, and I guess, and I guess since Tim Feigl took a pit out, he's now officially going to start in 32nd position. I'm not sure, but the pace car is off the track now. I'm going to keep up. Um, I'm going to keep up the controls so I can learn, so I can learn everybody's names. As the green flag is out here at Daytona. Oh yes, and I forgot to say this is the this is the Sega 500. 20 laps. Around, around this track. And, and no man, these guys are running, are running, uh, real, real close here. Carly Lamas, he, he's trying to hang on to his lead. Remember, uh, the last time we were here, um, it came down, uh, to a last lap pass. And no man, here, here comes the 16 car um, on the inside. That's Brandon Bain. Then right behind him is um, is a new driver of the number 12. That's Tim Walsh. And leading the first lap, barely. Ah, crap. Big uh, epic fail on my part. But uh, leading the first lap was Brandon Bain.
you know, and these guys have been going side by side ever since uh lap one. And, and Tim Feigl, his car um appears to be up to speed. He just lost the pack. Let's take a look um at the rear of the field now. There's a uh, new driver of the of the uh, 44. That's Michael. Norman, now, now, if anybody remembers uh, Michael Norman, he, he actually uh, finished second in this event in the Mountain Dew Code Red Truck Series, but he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to, uh, try to find a way to make it uh, to the top. Uh-oh, 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 these guys are going four wide almost, careful guys, want to go on three wide for the lead, and, and now taking advantage of that, it's going to be Tim Walsh. Uh oh, uh oh, and forced on the outside was uh the the forty one. You know, I mean, these guys are slicing and dicing in the back, as they um as they made it uh three wide. And here comes the the thirty two. That's James Cross, and up, uh, and uh oh, we got a car in the wall. That's the 09 of Lyndon Wright. He drives the number twenty one in the second car. And oh man, his and oh man, Michael Norman. Now he just smacked the wall. Uh oh. And oh man, these guys are really spreading out now. Now trying to uh, now trying to make a move to the lead is the 55 of Michael Walton. Now, 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 I've never heard um, of this kid, but he's really trying to prove himself today. But right now he has a bumper full of Sean Henley. Hey, heading uh. Uh, until the uh, inside, Michael Walker uh, continues to lead. But look who's coming up behind him. That's Dylan Pulte. Now, season one, Dylan Pulte, he made his debut here. Here uh, at Daytona in the Arca Series. And, and he ended up finishing fourth. Now, Dylan Pulte's only, uh, only uh, career victory uh, came at, at Darlington in this series. Now, he's really trying to catch it to that 55. And so, almost going four wide again. And, oh, man, just look at the 51. Um, that's, uh, Alex Drayton. He got forced uh, away on the high side by the 88. Oh, oh, we got trouble in the back. Oh, we got trouble. Oh, boy. We got a wreck. Oh, no. Luke Martin, Evan Catuso, Danny Wells. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the 44 and the 1. They made it through. And, oh, no. Kyle Sinoski, he was in it. Charles Jackson, I don't know if he was in it. Cody Lamas was in it. Oh, Brandon Bain. And leading them, uh, and leading them to the yellow flag is Dylan Pulte. Dylan Pulte will lead them to the yellow flag as we have our first caution here at Daytona. Um, oh man, that was pretty um exciting. But as the cars uh, uh get behind the pace car, let's take a look. And see what happened at the exit of turn two. Well, here's what bring out our, our first caution. And you can blame this guy in the number six, Mr. Charles Jackson. He comes up right onto the 97 of Luke Martin. And then he gets up into Danny Wells along with Brandon Bain, Cody Lamas, Kyle Sinoski. Yeah, y'all get involved in this, and it's just a big uh, puff of smoke. Oh, man, Lyndon Wright and, and Mason Wood, they barely missed this, but uh, Charles Jackson um, and Danny Wells, they got the worst of it, as Danny Wells, he gets turned around by Cody Lamas. And then there's um, uh, Evan Gattuso and Luke Martin back here. Oh man, big idiotic move. Um, big idiotic move on the number six right there. And here we are back at Daytona, getting ready to go back on the restart. We're gonna restart um, at about the halfway mark. The two cars that dropped out of the race were Kyle Sinoski and Luke Martin, both of the. Tw both, both the 28 and the 97 have dropped out. Well, anyway, here's our top 10 starter lineup as of right now. Let's see. 
It's Dylan Pelletier, William Duncan, Paul Stella, Barney Ward, Brian James, Zohar Manut, Michael Walton, Austin Ogo, John Waycross, and Noah Hart. That is your top ten. Plenty of fresh faces in the top ten. The only the only veteran driver in the top ten are are um di are Dylan Pelletier. Really, I forgot to put the R on. Uh, on um, Zohar's name, he wasn't in season one, so so Dylan Pelletier, he's gonna have uh he's gonna have um a, um a whole lot of guys behind him, so we're gonna have to check and see. And I noticed coming to the Kasha lab, Sean Henley, he scraped the wall, and he and and right now he's running um all the way in um twentieth position right. Right behind Joseph Lombard, so he's gonna have to um he's gonna have to uh try to find a way to get back in this thing. As for Charles Jackson, he, he manages to stay in as he's not running in thirtieth. He's the last car um running right now. As the pace car is coming down the track. And we're having the restart at Daytona. And I thought I saw uh uh another car go down pit road. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It was Michael Walton. Oh, he blew up right before the restart, so he is out. And it turned out to be his engine, so that's a tough break for the 55. As we head back to the action, Dylan Pelletier, um, he he he's trying to uh block every line possible, trying trying to show these young guns how it's done. But here comes uh William Duncan. Now William Duncan, he uh he drives the number six uh Ford Fusion in the second cup for Roush Racing. Now coming up uh right behind um William Duncan is is uh Brian James. Not much is known about this guy, but he chose to to get the sixty six Camry. That was uh uh he's actually Michael Walton's teammate. And here comes um here comes. The car that won the championship uh, last season with Robert Bam behind the wheel, but this year it's uh, it's uh, John Waycross in it, representing for Penske. Yeah, once these guys uh, s start going three wide, that's when it's gonna get exciting. As Brian James, he's trying to hang on to the lead, but here comes uh, John Waycross in that seventy-seven, and here comes Danny in the. I fail. Here comes uh uh Zach Campbell in the thirty. I'm sorry, Danny Wells. He drove he drove this car in season one. This year Danny's in the eight. So so yeah, epic fail on my part. I still have to learn everybody's names. As John Waycross uh will lead this lap. We we've officially passed the halfway mark. As we cycle through the field now, as Alex Ferranti, he just got uh uh forced on a high side, and he's trying to get uh that high draft going. Once these guys uh start breaking into three wide, that's when it's gonna get exciting, and 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 I think it's starting now. They're trying to go three wide for the lead. Yes, they are. Zach Campbell, he's gonna try to uh take advantage of it. They're coming up right back. Oh, we got trouble. John Wickross got turned. Oh no, the 77 gets turned and he gets hit by his own teammate in the 22. Oh man, Kasha's out. 77 got turned by someone and leading him to the line was Zach Campbell. Zach Campbell led him to the line, then followed by Eric Burton, Max Skinner, Austin Ogo, and Dylan Young. That's your top five. But oh man, a tough break for John. Weird cost. And oh, and oh no, Charles Jackson, he got involved in something again. Oh man, and Evan Catuso, uh, uh, three, um, three cars got involved in this mess. Oh man, let's take a look and see what happened to the 77. Now here's what happened to bring out this caution. Um, on the high side, Alex Ferranti, he hooked the 66 of Brian James, and that in turn, um, it turns, um, uh, um, John Waycross, he was actually, uh, trying to compete for the lead, but, oh, man, John Waycross got turned by, by, uh, Brian James, then Zohar, he gives, um, his teammate a, a tap, and William Duncan, he just had nowhere to go. 
Yeah, William Duggan, he just had nowhere to go. But uh, um, it doesn't end there. As John Waycross, um, as he gets um, further down into the um, track now. Look who comes into the picture. Yep, Evan Gattiso and Charles Jackson. Oh, man, just look at that. Oh, man, not a good day for Toyota today. As we see Charles Jackson come down track and Evan Gattiso spinning out in the field. And here we are back at Daytona, most likely getting ready for our final restart. We're going to restart with four laps to go. And the other cars that dropped out of this race were Charles Jackson, John Waycross, and Evan Gattuso. They're not going to um, they're not gonna be, be able to see the checker flag tonight. Let's get on with uh, our new top ten as of now. Zach Campbell, Eric Burton, Max Skinner. Austin Ogo, Dylan Young, Alex Drayton, James Qualls, Justin Williams, Brian James, and Tim Walsh. That is our new top ten. Four laps to go. This may be a big day for up uh for uh, upcoming rookie Zach Campbell. Fellow Dodge Eric Burton is gonna be right behind him. Now Eric Burton, he drives the number thirty one for Richard Childress in the in the second cup. And he, and, and he actually won the Daytona 500. So if anybody knows about winning at Daytona, it's Eric Burton. Just cycling through the field. As the pace car slowly makes his way back onto pit road, we're going to reach over four laps to go. Zach Campbell and Eric Burton, two Dodgers, are running first and second. Anything can happen in four laps. And the green flag is out. And oh man. And oh man, Eric Burton trying to, trying to decide if he wants to go high. I don't think that's a good move, but that's going to open the door for Max Skinner in the 88. Now Max Skinner, he's going to take away second from the 53. And here comes Dylan Young in the 11 car. Dylan Young makes his way into third. And he got and he got um uh a real good restart. He he he's trying to uh he's trying to uh team up with the 88. Two forwards. Two forwards working on trying to pass a dodge. And it's working. Max Skinner just took the lead. Maskinner has taken lead, but here comes uh Alex Drayton in the 51, and here comes Justin Williams. Um, um, I think there's a relation to Aaron Williams or no relation. I can't remember what he said. But Max Skinner, uh, just let just let that laugh. And here comes um, here comes uh James Qualls in 32. Another Dodge trying to get back in the front. And here comes um, uh, two more Dodgers trying to come back. Zach Campbell, and that's Tim Walsh in the 12. Last time, last time we came here at Daytona, this 12 car won here. And oh, and oh, man, uh, a couple cars uh, are going right. And I think they're going three wide for the lead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Matt Skinner uh, puts the block in. Matt Skinner uh, is blocking Justin Williams for that lead, and he's trying to do whatever he can to protect it. Last time we saw this 88 car go to victory lane, it was back at Las Vegas. Two laps to go now. I still think this is anybody's race. And look, and look who, and look who, uh, look who made his way into the top ten. Tim Feigl, how about that? Started on the pole, ran into pit problems, and look where he is now. He's trying to go for a uh, uh, a top ten finish, and he's trying to bring um, Sean Henley along with him. And no man, oh no man, we have a uh, one more battle for the lead between Zach Campbell and and, and um, Max Skinner. These guys are coming to the white flag. Three Dodgers were working together on the inside row. As we are not coming to the white flag now.
And oh man, Zach Campbell, he just uh uh went to the high side. That wasn't a good move because because uh here comes here comes James Qualls. James Qualls James Qualls has a bumper full of Eric Burton, but uh he's gonna get that outside run. But oh man, it's gonna be close. And oh man, we got Klaus scraping the wall. It's Matt Skinner and Justin Williams. But that's not uh important right now. Jay James Qualls, they went three wide for a second, and that was his chance. Coming down the front straight away now to win here at Daytona. It's James Qualls. James Qualls wins the second 500 to start off his season in the NNSCRA Caterpillar Arca Series. James Qualls wins here at Daytona. Second all the way back here is Alex Drayton. Yeah, I couldn't get a lock on him. And look who finished in third. Tim Feigl. How about that? Pit Palace didn't slow this guy down. He makes his way... He, he pretty much finds his way back to the top and ended up in third. Fourth place is Paul Stella. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fifth place was Eric Burton. Valiant effort for him. Sixth place is um, Dylan Young. There he is. Seventh place was Noah Hart. Fifth place was Sean Henley. Ninth place was Mason Wood. And running out the top ten was Zach Campbell. But here, but here is our winner right there, James Qualls. And here is our official standings of this event. James Qualls just fights off Alex Drayton to capture his first ARCA Series victory here at Daytona. Let's see, Barney Ward ends up 11th, then followed by Tim Walsh. He finishes 12th in, in the number 12. Asanogo ends up 13th. Linda Wright ends up 14th. And Max Skinner, and oh man, Max Skinner, he was one of those cars that ran to the wall. He was going for the win, but he got forced on the outside, and, but he still ends up with a top 15. The same goes for Justin Williams. He was running in third at the time until he started scraping the wall. Once you scrape that wall, you're going to drop like a rock. Brian James ends up 17th, Dylan Pote 18th, Michael Norman uh, was 19th, and Brandon Bain rounds out the top 20. Then followed by um, Joseph Lombard, Cody Lamas, William Duncan, Zohar Manad, and Danny Wells. That's the top 25, and Alex Ferranti ends up 26th. Then from 27th on down to 32nd, we all know what happened to Evan Gattuso, John Waycross, Charles Jackson, Michael Walton, Luke Martin, and Kyle Sinoski. But oh man, a pretty a pretty uh fun race to to happen here at Daytona. But our winner turns out to be James Qualls. This may be a, a um a big momentum booster uh for James to take into the the second cup. We don't know, but but he wins here t today and he's gonna try to bask in the victory. We will see you next time for the next ARCA race, which is gonna take place at Rockingham, the Rock the Rock to Vote 400. So stay tuned for that.